Shala Wong. This is Abidan Yasharala from the tribe of Benjamin. I want to say Kahalayim, La Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles who teach the sincere truth around the four corners of the earth. What's good, Israel? It's Abidan. Today's lesson is going to be about the UFOs in the Bible, right? The birth of Yahawashai. On the right, this is a picture, a depiction, an artist drew of the birth of Christ, which is Yahawashai, Mashiach, right? As you can see, there's multiple pictures on Google. If you type in the birth of Yahawashai or who the world ignorantly calls Jesus or the birth of Christ, Mashiach, right? You're going to find pictures of a chariot in the sky over above the child that is born. All right? Because the chariots of God are UFOs. The chariots of fire in the Bible, the chariots of are the UFOs and if you can't see it you can't hear it it's not for you if you're a believer and Yahweh Shai is supping with you and you can see it then don't let anyone turn you away from your belief if you know for a fact all right that these UFOs belong to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai these unidentifiable flying Objects which are now identified as ships that are being flown by someone, right? Even the Pentagon has put forth information saying the UFOs are real. So let's go into Matthew chapter 2. I'll just start at verse 1. Now, when Yahawashai was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. That star in the east, that's the UFO, the chariot. All right. That's that star in the east depicted on the right. Saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chiefs, priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ Mashiach should be born. And they said unto him in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, and lo, and though Bethlehem in the land of Ju Judah are not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel, which is Yahawashai. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star passed. They're calling the star, which was a chariot of Yahweh, which was a UFO. He wants to know what time did this so-called ship UFO chariot star pass? He's asking the wise men. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search diligently for the young child. And we, when ye have found him, Bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. Because Herod wanted to kill this so-called prophet, this child, right? He said he wanted to kill this prophet, this child. 
When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star, right, which is the UFO, and lo, the star, which they saw in the east, went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was, which is a depiction on the right, the star stood over the young child, right? When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshiped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts gold and frankincense and mirth and being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod they departed into their own country another way all right but the point here is the star all right when they verse 9 when they had heard the king they departed and lo the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the child was. Okay? And these are artist depictions from back then showing the star. Right? I got this from Google. Uh, showing the star of the east over the child, which looks just like a chariot, UFO. And this is before I was born. This is before all of us now are born, right? These, This depiction, these artists drew these way back in the back. <laughs> all right. Here's the Translate coin from 1680. As you can see on the Translate coin, they have a so-called UFO chariot of Yahweh, a chariot of God on the coin from 1680. This is the Translate coin from 1680. You can type it into Google and see what I'm talking about. So even then they printed on coins these chariots that were in the sky, right? The chariots of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So don't let anybody deter you away and tell you that it's not real. If you can see it, if the Lord put it in your heart and your eyes to feel it and see it, then it's, that is what it is. Then then you're getting the truth from the Lord's Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai is supping with you. All right? The star over the child. All right? And lo, the star which... They saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the child was. Okay? Matthew 2 and 9. The star from the east stood over where the child was. That's a depiction on the right. Alright? It's just a quick hitter. About the star that was over the child, Yahweh Shai, when he was born. Which artists previously depicted that as the chariots over the Lord. Alright. And the translate coin. From 1680. So just more information. To show you. That you've been lied to. The facts are there. You got to do your research. You got to dig. And look. Because the truth is there for you to see. The chariots of Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. Are the so called UFOs. Right? ET phone home. They always want to throw you off. With their their pagan ideologies and idolatries, right? And their, uh, what they call it, they got a, uh, Church of Science now, uh, Science, Scientology, you know what I'm saying? They just all on, they always against the Lord, 
But the truth is, the Lord is revealing himself to the prophets and to his people, the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. So the, the star that was over the child, we believe that that was a UFO over the Lord keeping them safe. The same chariots are going to come down and take the children of Israel out of oppression and take us away from our oppressors. With that, say Shalom on to the next one.